So questions come into my YouTube channel about how to get telemetry from, let's say, a Garmin bike computer, like a H510 or 800, how to get it overlay onto a video from a you know camera on your bike. So I use two, two ways to do it. Um, for this video, I'm going to use a program called Dashware. It's free. It's great. And you need the two pieces of data. Now, you can copy the activity file directly off your Garmin. Or another option is if you log on to connect.garmin.com after you upload it, uh, load up the activity. And over here on the right hand side, you have options to export uh, TCX, GPX. I think TCX is the option I used. So that allows you to download. Just click on that and you can do it to get pops up here to download the file, which is there. So that gives me my data file. So the next thing you need to do then is pull the video file off your, your Garmin, or sorry, off your, your camera. And then you add both of them here. So um, you hit the plus. Now mine's grayed out because I already added the um, video file. Um, so you hit plus, pick your video file, then hit plus and add your data file. So in this case, that TCX file that I pulled off Garmin Connect. The next is the most important piece, which is the synchronization. So what you need to do is pick a point on the map. Now you can pick the start point, but sometimes the camera and the Garmin bike computer may not start at the same time. So what you need to do then is maybe find somewhere, uh, just switch off your sync with video, find somewhere on the map, um, like a corner where, um, let's just move forward here. Uh, you, you know, you find a corner or something that's easy to pick out here. Now you can zoom in on this map. So I might decide to pick, let's say, this point here, which I, I would know. Um, so I'd move forward here and find that point on the car, on the road. So it, I'd know it to be a corner. I think it's coming up soon. And this is, this can be tricky because it's, Little tiny movement. It's coming around soon. So about there is where uh, that corner is, and that's where. It... And once you match the map here, that little dot with where you are here on the video, you tick the box here to sync with video. So that basically ties both together, and you can check it out then by pressing play. Let's turn on the volume and make sure that the dot here. Now you can, as I said, you can zoom in here and just see where we are. Um, and make sure that you're tracking uh, exactly as per the video. So if you're happy with that, then you can then move on to overlaying the data. So I go to Gauge Toolbox. Here, if you just filter, just type in cycle. So I just see why CL cycling. Uh, these are gauges specific to cycling, uh, whether it's a, um, I don't know, this gauge here. You know, you, you can line these up. So it's cadence, miles per hour, uh, whatever gauges you want. And in Dashware, you can make them bigger and make them smaller. Um, I'll just delete those. <coughs> So I've added a mine uh, speed, wattage, um, we've got the altitude here, uh, power, and heart rate zones. Um, so you add those. Another tip as well um, to line them up in synchronization, sometimes if your watts drop to zero, let's say if you're just freewheeling around the corner, it's another indicator. But you might want to spend some time in synchronization to get it right. Uh, it's the most critical part of this. Um, so once you've got it synced and you've got your gauges added, like I have here, you go to um, File and Create the Video. So that then produces that video with the data overlays. So that's it. Um, I'll do a second video and you can also use a program called uh, Verb Edit. Um, it's actually easier to do the synchronization of Verb Edit, the, the map, the zooming on the map, uh, let me just load up an existing one if I can. The zooming on the map, as I said, I covered this in a separate one. Um, it, it's, it's a bit easier to do it there. 
um, but you can't change size of gauges. But to be honest, just both programs are excellent. It just depends on your what your preference is. But that's how you can overlay by computer data onto a video using um, Dashware. The final thing I'll say is within um, Verb Edit, you can overlay music. You can't on um, Dashware. So um, you can produce your video and then you can go into something like I use Camtasia here where you can take, um, let's say, a, a video that's already been produced and then you add in some music. Let's see, import music. Let's go for um, some free music I got off YouTube. Import music, uh, whatever other files. So you can take your um, pre your processed um, video file and you put your music here as a second track. So that would then give you um, the three things. You've got your camera footage, your by computer overlay and some background music. It makes it less boring. So that's, I want to save that. Um, so that's just how you can do the overlays using Dashware.